Hello and good, not evening, good afternoon if you're watching this live today. If you're watching it back, then hello to you. A very, very different, not really, just a different time, isn't it? We are going live at 12 p.m. for the first time in the afternoon for quite a while. Unfortunately, I couldn't make last night's show. Uh, I'll go into why later on in tonight's show. But um, but tonight, or to this afternoon, I should say, where well, we are going to, and now I mentioned this on a show at the start of the week, I think it was, uh, that I was going to challenge myself to go through my recycling bin. Hello to homeschoolers, by the way. Go through my recycling bin and try and create as many garden things as possible. I think I may have said to Mr. Richard Suggett, I was going to create every single gardening tool needed out of recycling. I think it's possible. I do think it's possible. We're not massively... I mean, we're not going to totally do that. We're going to try and make as many out of everything. Oh, everything in this here box, everyone. We're going to turn this junk into gold. Coming up. Uh, this afternoon. Uh, if you're joining, uh, then it'd be great to hear from you. The phone lines are open 0742 357 4520. I'll put the link in the comments after this. Facilia. Facilia. Or Pacilia. If you just read it off the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm on. Oh, I can't hear you, on. <laughs> I've done something wrong with the thing. Anyway, Alison Poo is what I got. Good evening, Lee. How are you? Great, mate. Your 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 signal is always terrible, but I'm good, my friend. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. You got an allotment? When I go, don't put artificial crusts on top of me, all right? Are you going to get composted, Lee? Yeah. I'm de well, I'm <laughs> <laughs> which is actually a pub now in Colchester. Uh, welcome, everyone. Good afternoon to you. Uh, let me kick off today by saying thanks to everyone that shares the stream, listens to the podcast. If you've not listened, go and listen to the best of podcast on all good and bad podcast apps. But f give me a good old thumbs up or just a smiley face. I don't know what a smiley face is, just that you're happy. Or sharing the stream helps me uh, massively and helps more people get the good gardening message out there. If you're new today, then we are usually here at 8 p.m. every Monday to Friday. Last night, I had a, uh, a Monday night show. I said, oh, this homeschooling thing's going all right. It was going okay. You know, it got a little bit heated in the afternoon <laughs> with mathematics, me and Olive. <laughs> and then she slipped over and hit her head. And uh, we had to, a little, little jaunt to uh, A&E for that. She's fine now. She had it glued up. She's fine. <laughs> not not the best thing. She's very, very brave. I was very proud of her. She was a very brave little girl yesterday. So um, so I said to her, we'll have pizza. We'll watch a film. We'll leave the live for tonight. So I thought I'd come on this afternoon. Say hello. Uh, if anyone's homeschooling, having a lunch break now, perhaps midday. Uh, and give you some ideas of what you can create. On Monday's show, we said uh, that I said, should I say, that I can make anything for the garden out of recycled stuff. So I had a good old rummage through the recycling bin and got a load of stuff that today we're going to go through. I'd love to hear from you. It's 0742 357 4520. If you've got any great ideas or whack them in the comments, we're also going to go through a little uh, website. It says got 40 of the best upcycling, recycling ideas. So we'll have a little look through them later on. We're here for an hour to so take your time. Uh, we're going to go nice and slow. Uh, but how are you getting on with your home? school in me too me too uh thanks rich rich has uh send all of our best i will do sugs uh thanks very much for that uh, cheers for the thumbs up whoever just did that that's very kind of you uh thumbs and up always helps um but yeah we can make so much it's that time of year we're getting to the end of jan we shouldn't really i spoke about this last week shouldn't really massively be thinking if you're new to gardening uh, i wouldn't start sowing the seeds yet but it's a great time to start planning 
a great time to start playing them, and also saving some of these recycling bits. As I said the other day, you know, last year we had a time where we didn't have any of our bins or our recycling picked up. And I loved it because it gave us so much stuff that we can create crafts from and create bits for the garden. And right now we can create, uh, create those bits ready for around March time, I'd say. If you're thinking about sowing seeds, March time is the time to do it. Uh, good, uh, good afternoon, Stu. How are you doing, my friend? Uh, Rick, uh, Rich says, my homeschooling is going great. I've learned so much about how to procrastinate. <laughs> just sitting there, just thinking, mm, I need to do it. Definitely need to do that. So we've got so many materials, and now is a great time to, one, think about what we're going to be sowing, but also create these ideas ready to start sowing in March, ready to do it. All of those, these ideas I'm going to throw out there today, some of them, should we plug this? Some of them are available right now in the Skinny Jean Gardener book. Yes, that's right. Uh, um, but some of them are just ones that I use uh, generally anyway uh, that make it really simple, really easy. So should we have a little look, see what we're going to be playing with today? Uh, so we've got... Uh, now, some of these are going to be plastic. No one start laying into me for plastic. I don't massively love plastic. It's not a great thing. We've talked about it before. And these sort of things, it's not great. Uh, please remember to recycle. It's so, so important. Um, but we can't really massively get away from it. I think that's the biggest thing I've found. Like, it's difficult to get away from it until these things... I mean, lemonade, for instance. I mean, it's not the healthiest thing to be drinking. This one is actually pure... Pure strawberry and sugar sweet. I don't drink this one. Um, until they start putting that into a cardboard box. They're not going to do that, are they? Uh, so we still have this sort of thing hanging about. So we're going to be using uh, this, uh, a old uh, lemonade bottle or cola bottle, however, you, whatever your, your tipple is. Uh, we've got a milk carton, large one here. Uh, a milk carton to use. We've got, what else we've we got? It's, this is like a ready, steady cook, isn't it? But for gardening, that's what I'm going to call it. Ready, steady, recycle. Uh, we've got a, a lovely Mr. Chocolate World Swirls box there. Not sure what we're going to use that for. Let's uh, have a look. The classic, you know, we're going to kick off with this, guys. The cardboard tube. What else we got? A uh, little strawberry palette there. Perfect. Uh, a little biscuit. I think it's with crackers. Little crackers tin here. Uh, uh, butter. A little bit of butter there, guys. A little bit of uh, anchor. How are you doing? Thank you. And uh, and also a cardboard box. I'm sure loads of us have been getting these, and we'll talk about them later on. Uh, Stu says, uh, um, at home, I hate being at home. I'm a teacher. I need to be at school. Roll on Friday. Stu's going back in on Friday, which will be good. I did get your message, Stu, and I'll make sure that I reply to it this afternoon, mate. Uh, and which says, uh, reduce plastic waste, make your own lemonade, lemons, sugar, and water. Well, that's not a bad idea, is it? Uh, if you've got time, I mean, we'll could do that as a little homeschool project make make your own lemonade or or get what was it called a soda stream remember on them it was literally last year sam said should we get one for like summer i said no nah, because just i thought something else isn't it to put underneath the cupboard i just put it in put it in the drawer you can't really put a soda stream in the drawer we used to have one when we were younger we used it once and that was it <laughs> i don't know but if you're uh, Mr. Suggett, you can create your own, it seems. Go for it. Should I put the phone number? What happened to the phone number running along the bottom? Here we go. Boom. Feels weird doing it in the afternoon. Feels weird being in the afternoon. We are going to be here this evening, guys. Tonight we're watching Costa. Not the coffee. But um, the Australian gardener. So be ready for that. Suggs says we've got a soda stream. <laughs> okay. Well, Suggs uses his. Suggs uses his uh, soda stream team. Uh, right, should we kick things off today? Like I say, I'd love to hear from you. Click the link in uh, the thing or call in uh, or even just comment on the side. Uh, let's kick off the classic. I absolutely love this. This is a great one to start off with. I'm not so sure. Jackson might be able to tell me. I went to, uh, I did a school tour last year, which I absolutely love doing. And I mentioned this um, about how we uh, we use these. I use these a lot. And apparently at schools... They don't allow them to bring them in. Is that is that the same? Is that the case for you, Mr. Jackson? I don't know. Um, 
they don't allow him to bring him for like health and safety reasons. But they're such a great way of sowing our seeds in. So uh, the perfect thing is uh, to get a load of these. I mean, I'm sure you can you can collect a load at home. You pack them all together in a box. Now I'm not. Let me find this is not a bad idea actually. Let's just grab another thing. Uh, so this strawberry pallet, for instance, if you've got a load of beans that you want to sow, is you pack them all into there, fill them to the top with compost, and then pop your bean straight into the to the soil. Just push it down in. I'm going to maybe be controversial and say, don't worry about how deep it goes. Just a good, get it in there. Good old fingers depth. Like, boom. Not straight to the bottom. Maybe about middle way, but don't worry about centimetres and dippers and things like that just get the bean in there get in um and that will find its way up uh through the soil that is rubbish so it says that is rubbish we put them in the cupboard for 72 hours and then just and use them just as you're showing there we go some schools ott on the old h and s but i suppose some some have to be uh so anyway so big beans uh beans uh, if you want to start your sunflowers off in these it's a great way Peas, it's a great thing as well. The reason we leave the whole tube is because it gives it plenty of soil, plenty of compost to get through. Now, smaller things like uh, like tomato seeds. I know some of you have seen this before, but it's like tomato seeds, chili seeds. Uh, the great way and the great thing we can do is create these into mini pots, uh, which I absolutely love to do. Uh, so it's real simple, just to cut through the middle. Straight down the middle like that. And from this, you can create two little pots to start off your seeds in. So we do one cut, uh, then a cut on the opposite side, and basically a cut, almost like a plus sign, I like to think of it, but you might think of it differently. But evenly spaced out, so we've got little tiny tabs to be able to push in. I don't know if you can see that on the screen or hear it on the podcast, but little tiny tabs to push in. Might have to go a little bit deeper with my cuts today. Like I'm rushing, we've got an hour, so we've got plenty of time. Well, I'm not sure how many phone calls we're going to get on a, on a 12 p.m. We might. Who knows? Uh, anyway, I've done this wrong. How have I done this wrong? Rushing. There we go. I've cut six. All right, maybe you can cut six. But anyway, the idea is whatever, is to cut tabs, and then we push them. I mean, maybe it works a bit better with six. So you can push them in. To the bottom try and fold them over a little bit try and interlock them in the bottom there i think you can see that but try and interlock them there we go and what you get is a little pot just like that just, just like that just, just like that uh oh, i've just dropped it <laughs> i'm not making enough i've just dropped it i'm not gonna be able to get it in on so one two three four here we go fold it in you can interlock them, create a tiny little pot, fill it with soil, and then put it all together, put it on a little tray, absolutely perfect, and then you can plant your tiny seeds. So if you're thinking in 2021 that you're going to sow some tomato seeds, maybe um, maybe a few uh, chilli seeds, feeling ha, 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 boo, boo, then this is absolutely perfect for that. All the tiny little seeds, pepper seeds, perfect. The bigger tubes, obviously, for the bigger seeds, Chop them in half for the smaller seeds. Absolutely perfect, ladies and gents, uh, if you fancy getting on that and getting your seeds sown. Also, really good idea is to write on the side of them. Write in pencil on the side what you're going to be sowing. But we're going to talk about labels. We'll probably talk about labels later on. Uh, we've got much we can make labels from here. I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can. Uh, so tonight or today, you can uh, write in the comments, even if you're re-watching this, it's absolutely fantastic to write in the comments and let me know what you uh, can create from recycled products. Uh, it's really easy. Now, next thing we're going to look at is this. Now, it's just it looks to you guys, it looks like just a simple cardboard box. Yes, correct. Because so much you can make. Uh, just from this to help with our garden now a great one obviously is sowing seeds and this is what we're going to do with this all of these garden makes what i really like to do is obviously i'm flying through a load of them at the moment but i really love to decorate them i mean we've got time to decorate them and make more of a project of it because i'm really flying through this so even like maybe not the little uh cardboard tubes but some of the ones that i'm going to show you later on 
get some poster paint, paint them up, make it a bit of an afternoon project. That's what it's all about. Even things like this. So what I'm going to create here is I'm going to reclose the box. And then what you need to tape that back up. Okay. And then we're going to get some scissors. You want to just take, do this bit off camera because a little bit. And right, there we go. So very carefully pierce a hole in the front. And then all we're going to do is almost make out of this box, uh, the best way of saying it is like a Malteser box or a, a box of tissues. But we're going to cut a hole out. And like with the cardboard tube, I'd always say put it into a tray. Exactly the same with this because it's not going to be waterproof, obviously. But what we're doing is we're cutting a hole out of the top. like so and then what you can do with this is basically you've created a little mini tray again for smaller seeds nothing that's going to root too big so uh, some flowers peas beans they need a little bit more soil to do a little bit more deeper soil to like grow and grow some roots but for smaller things like tomatoes or even if you're just going to do a few little herbs maybe put this in the windowsill put it into a tray put it on the windowsill hold the compost in a little bit better and then uh, you can sow your seeds. So basically, you fill it with soil and just a sprinkle of seeds on top. Really simple, really easy. If you're growing microgreens, if you're thinking about that this year, it's a great one for that. The reason that I put it into something like this and then put it into a tray is then once you've had enough of it and you want to move it outside, you just take the whole box out. The tray is clean. You can put something new into there. Uh, it just makes it so much easier Uh to, to do so that's a great one like once again for sowing seeds a lot of these are going to be sowing seeds ideas and keeping those plants growing really easy uh, also with this box we've uh, bug hotels now have i got a bottle i don't think i've got one but i'll show you what to do so you get a box like this you rip the end out simple simple and then all you need to do with this is roll it Roll it up. Roll and roll and roll and roll and roll down. And you can do that with a few different ones. All you need to do then is get either a large bottle or a smaller water bottle and push this into it. Push that right into it. And that will expand a little bit. And then you can push a few more bits of paper or a few bits of cardboard around the top. And what you're creating there is some awesome little crevices for bugs to come along and crawl and join in there. So what you do is you get a water bottle. You can decorate that as, well, as much as you want. That's the, that's the great activity part. Decorating it up. Stickers, paints. Um, maybe not pens and pencils, but stickers and paints is a great way. And then all you do is you put the bottle outside, leave it on the floor. You can hang it from a tree. And then what will happen is very slowly, loads of little creepy crawlies will come along. If you leave uh, like half of the bottle see-through and maybe only decorate half of it, then you should be able to see inside the bottle and see where they're all hiding. Give it a little look so that to go back in the week and see how, how they're getting on. Really great. So keep your cardboard nice and right, rolled tight. And they're going to get right in there and have a lovely time. So it's another way that we can use cardboard. And also, obviously, a great way, if you're, this is not an idea for outside, but it can be, is uh, just having a bit of cardboard like this. Here we go. I've not got any here so I made earlier, guys. Where's that blue Peter badge? I don't know, actually. <laughs> Where I put it? From this, this is a bit of a wasting of cardboard. You'll do it a bit slower, a little bit neater. Is we can really easily make there we go give me that cut little corners in there we can make some really simple little part markers just out of some cardboard you draw on there you write uh, what should we write tomatoes decorate it up get the kids to decorate it that's what it's about make it a lateral activity uh, and then if you're growing them inside you can pop them into that little uh, container or if you're putting it outside, get some sellotape and just sellotape that up, almost doing like a little bit of a, what's it called? Lamination, like a home lamination. Really simple little uh, seed markers uh, that are great, cheap, and uh, an activity. Uh, and they just pop in there. I'm not going to say they last forever, but they will at least for that time 
let you know what is being sown because that's the biggest thing. The great thing about creating seed markers right now is that it gets kids and the whole family thinking about what is going to be grown, drawing pictures of what is actually going to happen. Um, but also, when you sow your seeds, you have no idea how important it is if you're growing. I always say start with five seeds, but even five seeds, you've got these little shoots, green shoots popping up and you've not labelled them. It is. Take it from me, who has learnt the hard way a few times because you don't always listen to your own advice. Uh, so important. So, so important. Um, right. Let's we move on to the next thing. Uh, real quickly, this is a real simple one without a doubt. But uh, if you've got some biscuits or you've got um, some crackers, anything like that, these are brilliant to keep hold of because once again, Really simple. You I mean you you go out and you can go to the green um, to the garden centres and buy trays to sow your seeds in, right? But we already have them. Like they're already sitting at home. They're already sitting in our packaging, just being put into the recycling. So all you need to do is with these is put a few holes. If you've got a little screwdriver, a little tiny screwdriver, put some holes into the bottom for drainage. It's so important because you don't want your seeds swimming about. Um, and then, literally, they can be put outside, put on the windowsill. Obviously, if you put drainage holes... Now, here's the important thing. Again, some people will say, oh, I shouldn't do that. I'm talking like Don or, or Titchmarsh. Uh, if you're putting these on the windowsill, and you might not have a tray. Like It seems like I keep saying, get a tray, get a tray. If you're going to sow seeds in this, great. Don't, and you haven't got a tray, don't put holes into the bottom. Because you can put this straight under the windowsill and give it a little bit of a water. Not too much of water, but give it a little bit of a water, as Olive says. Not a water. She keeps getting told off at school for saying water. Don't know where she gets that from. Water. Give it a little bit of a water so you don't have your seeds swimming. Only a little bit of water, everyone. Um, but if you <laughs> but if you put them on the windowsill, don't put the holes in the bottom. Just be careful when you water it, okay? Uh, because what will happen is if you put holes in the bottom, you put it on the windowsill, you give it a good old water, water, and uh, it will flood the uh, flood the kitchen, not the whole kitchen, but it will definitely flood that that surface. And that's the last thing you want: muddy water all over the place. So uh, yeah, real easy, real great one that one. Um, make sure you hold on to these for sewing. Don't have to buy anything as well. So uh, anyone that's saying, I haven't got any pots to sew in. I mean, there should be no sales of pots anymore, plastic pots at least. But just pots in general. I can't believe there's still uh, there's still people buying them, especially when we've got things like that hanging about. Keep hold of your packaging, team. Keep hold of it. Again, another great one is uh, with this. This still strawberry one. It's already got holes in the bottom. So it's absolutely perfect to start sowing in. Again, any of your herbs, any of your smaller seeds, anything to start off with, any of your herbs that you can just put on the windowsill even. Great one. Get the kids painting them. Make them look beautiful. Get a, low, a, low, a row of them. Get some trays, obviously, to put underneath them. And you can have a whole little garden sitting on your windowsill. I absolutely love these because actually the perfect size probably, depending on your windowsill, I mean, they'd fit my windowsill for your windowsill so you can run along the whole way uh full of little herbs and seeds growing um the windowsill is your savior the windowsill is your greenhouse i always say uh, there's plenty of light coming through come march april time uh, so again strawberry cartons a great one for that um right let's move on we're really flying through them let's see what everyone else is saying actually uh, here we go oh look Stu says Use a plastic bottle for a wormery. Paint the bottle black to keep the light out. Fill with soil and sand and some worms in the... Um, and put some worms in and waste vegetables. Yeah, I mean, the great one for that... Really, thank you so much, Stu, for your comment, man. You can comment, everyone, uh, on this afternoon's show uh, and say hello. Uh, even call in 074... What's the phone number? 0742 357 four five two zero i feel like we are flying through some ideas today flying through uh i feel like i'm i'm over i'm giving you too much information i like to try and get through as many as we can let's slow it i think that's a great idea Stu. uh a great one for that is this let me take this label off 
again, like Sue said, blackboard paint. I absolutely love it. It's about a tenner, yeah, and it's an absolute winner in my in my world. So take that off, guys. So if you've got a, a blackboard, right, in your garden. So if you've got some wood in your garden, there's a little upcycle to make. If you've got some wood you don't know what to do with, get some blackboard paint for a tenner, paint it up. You've created an awesome little area for the kids to, to get some pound chalk and, and doodle. Great one. If you've got some left over, I'm really sorry, that bit was loud on the old speaker. Paint one of these up um, with blackboard paint. And then what you can do is create your own mini wormy. Leave a little... So paint up black leave a little hole just a little one just around it or even just down it actually that's not a bad idea so you can see the different layers and also you can see where the worms are so this is a real small little mini wormery i love wormeries i think it's a great idea um, it's really good for kids to have little mini pet in it little mini pet anyway you cut the top off of this paint it black right do you cut? Yeah, definitely cut the top off, you won't think. And then what you need to do is uh, fill it up. So you need uh, a mixture, a little bit of compost, a little bit of sand, but then also your vegetable waste, so they'll go through it. A little bit of layer of... Uh, I put uh, scraps of paper in there you can do. We can create one. I'll create one of these properly, but I love a wormery. Uh, they're so much fun, and they're good for kids to be able to see what worms done. You can get some compost out of them. It's real... I mean, this sort of thing... You're not going to get loads of compost, let's be honest. It's more of uh, being able to see what the worms can actually do uh, more than anything. You want to go a bit larger, but a great one. Little, great little make. Uh, again, paint it up if you want. Paint it black with that uh, black board paint or just paint it up with any paint. Just It's really good for them to be in a dark place, dark and warm. That's the thing. That's what they love. Uh, so a really good one with that bottle. Uh, here we go. Look, Sug says, thanks for that, Stu. Uh, fill a bottle with water to weigh down membrane or tarpaulin, but also it reportedly scares off cats if you have a problem with cats in your garden. Really? B bottles of water? It's a good little idea. If you are um, maybe in your garden or down the allotment, um, again, these are great weights, aren't they? Let's be honest, fill it with water. Great way to weigh down that tarpaulin if you're covering up the soil over the cold months um but also another great one for this is thanks for that sucks it's given me a, a great idea is fill it with water right this is so this is more so simple fill it with water put the lid on right and in the summer put that down the end of the garden wherever you're sowing seeds wherever you're growing put that down the end and then throughout the day that will very slowly heat up. Now, I always say this to the kids, and they usually say, yeah, I don't mind a, a cold bath. I was like, do you like a cold bath in the evening? When you get in from school, do you love to get out there? Um, do you love to get in the bath? Freezing cold bath. And obviously, the answer is no. Like, none of us do, right? And nor do our seeds or our, our little plants. So you've basically got warm water, nicely warmed up water throughout the day to pour on your plants, give them a nice bath. Uh, to keep them nice and warm and happy. That's what it's about, right? Uh, to go a whole step, uh, another step even, is to fill it with water. And then on the end of the cap, put some holes. All you need is a little tiny screwdriver to pierce some holes. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe three. Screw it on. And you can just water your plants. Real simple, real nice and easy. I love that one. Uh, but nice warm water really simple if you have a few of these all lined up full of water also really helps because what you can do is maybe even if you've got six or seven of these bottles maybe ten all filled with water you fill them up at the tap inside the house you uh, either chuck them to a bag chuck them into a box chuck them in the little wheelbarrow wheel it down I know most of us I say a good percentage of us either have our growing areas at the end of the garden, a little bit out of the way, or around where you eat. You just leave them around that way. Then at the end of the day, you finish work, you come back, your kids have finished school. You haven't got to go up and down the garden. These are nice and warm, ready to go. Empty them, take them back up, 
do the same thing in the morning, fill them up, send them back down there. Makes it so much easier uh, to water your plants. It really does. So it's a great one to look after. Uh, but I've not heard of the cat's idea. That's a that's a new one to me, Sykes. That's a new one. I've heard of um, I've heard of weeing in a bottle to get rid of foxes, but I'm not sure if that works or not. We won't go into that today. It's a bit too early for that, isn't it? Um, halfway through today, today's show uh, this morning. Uh, this afternoon thanks for joining me everyone and thanks for watching back if you are uh, if you'd love to support the show i'd really appreciate it thanks so much to everyone that watches and takes part it means more to me than anything if you've shared if you've given it a thumbs up then uh, thank you you are legends uh, in the support and world and if anything that's all you have to do uh, but if you want more then uh, there's some awesome Mer, I'm still waiting for where my t-shirt is not here yet. I'm going to show you, hopefully, by the end of this week, the new merch is on its way. Some great t-shirts over there. Obviously, the skinny jean garland, but I should probably plug this for anyone that might not have it. I'll try and plug it as much as possible. We're almost up. We're almost, team, a year. I, can't, I don't know if I can call it new. I'm going to continue calling it new. My new book is a year old now. It's almost been a year and um, 11 months out. Anyway, loads of ideas packed into this book, all about recycling. It sort of really goes well with today's uh, talk or chat. Um, from sowing seeds, I think we've got the little pots in here. Shall we got little pots in here? We've got that. Yeah, sowing seeds, uh, egg boxes, cardboard boxes, even orange peel to sow your seeds in. Um, from little mini allotments we've got in here, just flying through some wildflower seeds, some bee homes. What else we've got? And then some fun ideas as well, like the sound tube. Absolutely love this idea. Uh, so some loads of, of great ideas on there. At the moment, I'm doing a lockdown. <laughs> sure. A lockdown free special. It's a tenner if you want to get your hands on it. It's a tenner. Um, direct from me. I'll sign up for you and uh, I'll get it sent out to you to help you through lockdown free. I think it's a winner. For a tenner, you can't go wrong. There's no expensive ideas in there. Uh, so you can support the, uh, the show from that. Or just, just uh, you can chuck a quid in to the, the cup of tea pot if you fancy it as well. Um, but more than anything, just share and, and thanks. Oh, through that, thanks to everyone that's just liked in in that last minute of me selling myself out. Um, and also, it's Garden Club. Garden Club will be back on by the end of this week. Uh, I'll explain that if you if you want to watch the show. Generally, we don't pop on at midday. Usually, on at every eight every day eight pm. Uh, every Monday to Friday eight pm. So come join me for that uh, and call in on, in the evenings if you're about, if you've got a bit of time uh, in the evenings to chat garden. We have a lot of fun chat over there. Some of the team are in this afternoon. Nice to see you guys. Um, but yes, right. Should we crack on? We've got those more ideas to move on with. Thanks so much anyway for supporting is what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's move on. Let's continue with this bottle because there's so much more we can do with this, which I'm going to show you today. I'm going to, right, what am I going to show you first? Because there's a few different things we can do. Okay, well, I'm going to show, just try and work out how I can make the most out of this bottle. Okay, let's, uh, let's be careful with it. Obviously, there we go. You're going to be a lot more careful. Be careful piercing into these. There's no uh, nice way of doing this. Uh, so I do have to do it off camera because uh, you have to be very careful, mums and dads, doing that. But let's cut the top off this bottle to begin with. So we've talked about turning it into like a watering can, keeping the uh, nice warmth on our nice of water on our plants we're gonna fly around here and it's not great for mike who's mike and what we've done is we've cut the top off the bottom that's number one and then we're gonna go again maybe not too far because i want to show you another little garden and make i've got to be a bit careful here team with this because i don't want to chop my finger oh that's tough i'm gonna chop my finger off live on stream that'd be a nightmare then what we're going to do is we're going to cut the middle off so we basically cut it into three pieces this makes a real here we go all the way around boom 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 it's nice for it's nice for a wednesday afternoon isn't it a little bit of craft okay so the first make and this is in, in the book actually is it's called a mini greenhouse. So what we do is we just leave that centre bit to the side for now, and all we have is the top and the bottom, and we sow our seeds in the bottom of that of the the bottle. Really simple, 
Really easy. Then what we do is we get the top bit and we just pop it over the top. Get the top and put it on the we top it on we put get the top what? Get the top and put it on the top of the bottle. What? It's hard to describe. If you listen to this on audio, good luck. You get you get the bottom sowing the seeds. Then the top of the main bottle sits on top of there. And that creates a little mini greenhouse. You can put that on your windowsill. And basically what happens, if you see that, you can even sellotape it up. It's a nice idea to keep it nice and sealed. Keeps the seeds really nice and warm. You can unscrew the top, give it a little bit of a water. But basically it creates a nice little mini greenhouse. And because there's no way for that water to get out and to escape, it just keeps going around. It keeps watering itself over and over again. It means it gets nice and warm in there. Gets our little tomato seasons popping through. Then when your tomato seasoning gets to a good old side, maybe a mm, 10... The 10 to 12 centimetres high. Time to take it out. Maybe it's getting warmer outside. Maybe it's time to start planting outside. Uh, remember, watch out for that first frost, but we'll talk about that later in the year. What we do is when we plant that outside, let's put that to the side there. When we plant that little plant, pretend this pen, bear with us, pretend this pen is uh, the plant, okay? Use your imagination. You put it into the soil, then you pop this over the top like a collar. And what that is going to do is help prevent, it's not going to work every time, don't get me wrong, them slugs are little pesky ones, but prevent any slugs from coming up and going in there. They won't, they won't, yeah, they won't even bother. They won't even try. They'll just move on to another plant. It's a great way for protecting your little seedlings um, and using a whole bottle up in a, in a garden and make. I love that one. It's my favorite. Um, so we can create that. Another thing we can do is a great self-watering. So if you're going on holiday, what you do is you can actually – don't cut this as short, the, the bottom of the bottle. You cut the bottle in half, and then you actually plant in the top. So in the lid, you put a few holes, right? A few little holes in the lid with a screwdriver, real simple. You then fill the bottom up with water. You fill that part with soil and put your plant and seeds in it and then you just place that in there right in now if you listen to this on the podcast this is making no sense if you're watching this you're thinking genius because what will happen is you have water in the bottom there thanks very much for the text of then you have water in the bottom you have the soil in the top and then when that soil starts to get dry, the water will be sucked up through that lid and water your plant. So whatever your plants, if you've got a great, this is a great one if you've got um, like any herbs, if you've grown any herbs or anything like that to put on the windowsill. It's a super easy one. Makes you means you don't have to water so much. And uh, I love this one. Again, really good one to decorate. Really super one to be able to decorate for the kids. They're growing their own little plants. Really just sim really simple. That is not in the book, actually. So that's a, that's a little book, too. Oh, look out who's in the group. I just saw Liam Webb. He said hello in the group. Uh, I'm on lunch break watching. Hello, Liam. Uh, good afternoon to you, mate. How you doing? Wow, we've only got 20 minutes left. Anyway, so there's so much, as you can see, that you can do just with a cola bottle, a lemonade bottle, whatever you're using using uh with that did i have anything else for that mini greenhouse self-watering thing watering can uh, i can't think of anything else for that right now but that's a great one we are actually oh, here we go uh well, let's move on now to again oh, this would be really quick and really easy but uh a butter tub well, again oh the lid a little fine bit of soil on top of there can start your seeds off Really easy, really simple. Uh, obviously, I need a little bit of transplant from there. But if that's all you've got, a little bit of compost on there, put your seeds on, can start them off pretty fast. The actual tub itself is really great for sowing your seeds in. Again, you can put some little holes in the bottom for a bit of drainage. Just a really simple way. Again, no need to go and buy pots, team. Just really easy uh, using the butter. Another one, I just saw this uh, the other day. I did a video ages ago. If you want one, it's gonna, it is going to get colder, right? Right now, it's going to get colder. Go outside with the kids. Uh, pick some leaves. Pick some 
if there's any flowers about i mean i think i might have a few little petals hanging around actually from some plants anyway get some really nice bits in the garden what you need to do is then lay them into the, the lid of the uh butter tub put a nice layer of water over the top of it and then put it into the freezer once you've got that into the freezer let it freeze oh put some string in there as well should remind it put some string in there once that's froze you can pop that bit of frozen thing out and what it will create is a nice little decoration works really well if it's a hot day if there's a bit of sun it will melt really fast but if it's a really cold day it makes a nice decoration you can hang from a tree uh, and it's super easy super quick uh, and then everyone we've 20 minutes left of today's show oh nice uh next uh one is probably i'm gonna put this out there is possibly my favorite thing to create a garden and make from and it is the milk carton i know that most households where's my scissors most households will have a milk carton uh in the fridge and we can use these. Give it a really good wash out before. If you're going to store it, I'm a bit worried that we've not quite washed this one out um, well enough. I'm hoping this is only from the other day. So there's some milk on the bottom there. So it could. It's going to. I mean, I've done this before and it has whoop, stunk. So you've got to be careful. Make sure you give them a really good wash out. Um, again, milk cartons, especially these large ones, they've got a handle on them. So it's really great for watering. Just by putting a few holes in the end, filling out of water, and then going out into the garden to water your garden. Really quick um, little garden and make there for uh, for looking after your plants. Again, how we did with the self-watering thing earlier, you can create that from a milk carton as well. It's exactly the same way. Um, not as pretty, I don't think, but you can still create it from a milk carton. If you're up for it, tomorrow, every Thursday of lockdown like i say we don't do these midday ones that often um it's only because of what happened yesterday and olive and and not being able to, to jump on the stream at eight o'clock at night um every thursday of lockdown which probably is going to go on for a while anyway but we do the show anyway but every thursday is usually a garden hack day we've changed it up to uh, homeschool thursday which means we'll just be talking on thursday nights about kids gardening giving you ideas last thursday i showed you and there's still time to and um and show me yours i've got a, a few pictures coming in uh from the milk carton we cut the side out and this is not our one i'm going to show you me and olive tomorrow but we cut the side out then what we do is we paint them up me and i've painted it up and then we fill them up with uh, twigs leaves and all sorts they all go into there and it creates a really cool little bug hotel really easy really simple really miniature any size garden a lot of these makes we're really creating for windowsills and any size garden at all so really good uh, one if you've got uh, a time between now and tomorrow then go create it like, go check it out go check out my instagram i'll show you how to make one of them over on the insta um ladies and gents liam says looking good lee my signal is bad have a lovely day mate see you tonight uh Looking good, even with bad signal, says uh, Liam Webb. So, thanks for that, pal. <laughs> Imagine what I look, look like with good signal, right? Anyway, let's move on. I can't believe, actually, it was, this is, we've done quite a few makes. I can't remember how many we've made. But tonight we are making, or today we are making junk into gold. Uh, right, so, watering can, uh, bug hotel. Uh, what we're going to create from this is a few different bits what have i got so we've got water and can we're going to make a little you may have seen me make it before a little compost shovel really simple we're going to sow some seeds in here as well and uh and we'll show you the water and can one uh, so right let me just very carefully let me just work this out as well because i always do this wrong so let me start with this so we're going to cut the whole of the bottom of this off Again, I mean, if if you're a family, uh, I mean, even as a couple, you might go through quite a bit of milk for breakfast, for a cup of tea. If you have, a, if you have the, the amount of cup of teas I have in a day, I need a cup of tea. I'll get one after this, an afternoon cup of tea. Uh, then you'll probably go through quite a bit of milk. 
And so you have quite a few cartons left. If your uh, recycling is picked up twice, twice a month, every two weeks, and then you'll probably have quite a few cartons to create these with. So to start off with, this is a great one. Um, again, just to create a place to, and there's a bit of milk in the bottom, so don't smell too groovy. Just to create something to sow seeds in. Just the bottom of that carton is just so simple and so easy. Uh, I love it. Then, with the top of the carton, I want to show you how to create a shovel. Now, all you do is you add... Oh, man. Just got... Oh, old milk. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Ugh, old milk just poured on me. Nice. All for the stream. Uh, all we do is we cut towards, so I don't know if you can see that, towards the handle. Really important because I always muck that up. There, not all the way over the tunnel. Then we go over straight. And then we cut away from the handle. And so, we'll keep that bit for a minute. And so, if you're new to gardening, if you um, try to do on a budget and just want to have a little something to collect that soil with, just collect it up. So easy, right? It's so, so easy. Uh, use it as like a little trowel. There is a name for this. I don't know what it's called. There's a special name. Probably a trowel. Compost scoop. It's a scoop. Um, really simple, really easy. Uh, if you've got smaller ones, you can create it with smaller milk cartons. Um, but I love that one. Um, and then finally, here's another little extra, mate. Where's them scissors gone? Is what we can also do with this. Is we can also, if you've got pens, paints, once again, we just cut a tab in there. Let me just make sure I don't cut myself. Be careful. Cut a tab. We've got a little plant marker. You can paint on there. Uh, probably paint is better than pen. It won't rub off as easy. Um, you've got a nice little plant marker to pop in. There's so much you can make from that. Um, and there's just one thing I just remembered quickly. There's one thing I wanted to say about animals. Earlier on, we talked about these plastic bottles. Another great one, if you're growing tomatoes, if you've got even a smaller plastic bowl, is to put the holes in that bottom of that lid, plant your plant. Let's try and get a let's just let's use this as an example. Plant this next to your plant, and what will happen is the water will come out of the bottom and go directly to the roots. So you've got this bit of the, the bottle just above the soil. So you can fill that with water, and then that will just literally take that water instead of sitting on top of the soil and slowly going down through the plant. It'll take it direct to the roots and that's exactly where we want our water to go directly watering that plant so really some fantastic and simple ideas to turn i think you'll agree to turn junk into gold okay just me uh, <laughs> so there you go uh, loads of ideas I'd love to hear from you if you've got any other ideas we are on uh, once again tonight uh, but we're watching along we're watching a, a fantastic program tonight from Dan Under uh, so extract, expect some some terrible Australian voices like this um, and then we are back on tomorrow Thursday so if you have got any ideas for Thursday night I'd love to hear from you now there were some things we've got about 10 minutes left of today's show I didn't want to stand for about an hour um, so I just want to quickly have a look. We did this on Monday. And sometimes you see some amazing things. Pinterest seems to be the one that uh, that shows some incredible ideas, which quite possibly are um, not easy to create. So let's have a little look. I'll show you some of the myths and what, and what actually will work. Let's be honest with it. Let's be straight with it, guys. Uh, let's have a little look. Can I find it? Here we go. Right, I can show you on screen. So let's share the screen. So this one is called 40 Ideas for Gardening with Recycled Items, which we is, is, goes along exactly what we're talking about today, right? 
So let's have a little look. Let me zoom in a little bit more for you. Let's have a little look to see what people have been creating. Again, Pinterest is uh, the main culprit usually for this sort of thing. So let's see. Is it loads? Here we go. Right. So, uh, I mean, this is recycling on a larger scale a little bit, but tyres are a great one for uh, growing in. I do, I do like these chair tire things but there's a lot more work that goes into them They're, for them to be sturdy i'm not so sure uh, but a really great one for kids we've got some tires in our garden that we grow in uh, there's there is questions about growing food and tires there's that sort of thing going on about how uh how it can leak into the plants and stuff but i don't actually grow food in tires um we won't get into that debate today, but I, I grow uh, plants in them. They're a great one for a great little border. And also inexpen inexpensive. So I went where my place is to get tyres and do my car. I said, oh, can I have some tyres? And they said, yeah, take what you want. Because they, I think they have to pay a couple of quid each for each tyre to get rid of them. So they don't mind. So there's, they're an easy and accessible uh, resource. Pallets, if you've watched the show before, you know my love of pallets. Uh, so pallet sofas they look good and um, they're cheap and they're easy they're not so comfortable but they're cheap and easy uh, so pallets are a great one a great pallet allotment idea in the skinny jean gardener book team so go check that out if you fancy it that looks pretty good i love that pallet table though that's pretty cool pallets are a great one as well if you're creating like a mini allotment um, but just a great wood resource uh, then we're going on to ties great one for cut, uh, painting up uh, cutlery, I really like. Oh, I love what they've done with that cutlery. I sprayed it up like that. Cutlery is a great one um, for uh, if you are uh, creating plant labels. I'm really big fan of that. Plant labeling it up, painting them. And uh, I mean, they've made a chandelier there. I probably wouldn't do that. But if you want to plant, uh, use plant labels, again, there's a great idea in the sketch. You can gather that book. It's like I've literally ripped it from this um, website. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> The wellies are a good one, once again, to plant up in. Really nice, really easy. Uh, a little bit of support around the wellies helps. So inside, if you've got some wire frame to support. The little wellies are great to plant up in if you've got old ones, but uh, larger ones need a little bit of support to keep them up. This milk carton fence I saw on here, interesting. I'm not so sure I'd like to put it out in front of my house. Cut your grass first, mate, rather than putting this out. But a nice little idea for... Uh, a little garden wall for the milk cartons. And again, showing what you can do with milk cartons. That's a bit Pinteresty. These are boxes, wooden boxes. Of course, you can sew and grow in them, which is really easy. Again, tires. Again, we're growing in tires. We've got pallets. We've got these plastic pots. I hate these plastic pots. Don't go and buy them to create this. If you're going to create something that you want to put on the wall, then probably go milk cartons because it's just recyclable. I've got more pallet sofas. Cool, I love the pallet sofas. This is amazing. A really great one to do with kids is runner beans to create a runner bean den. They've created this little... Um, what could you even describe it as? as a uh, dome out of bicycle wheels. Very imaginative. I like it. Really cool. I might even do that in my own house. But I'm sure it takes a lot more work than just whacking it up. Again, the wellies are there. We haven't massively talked about watering, but I've just in a water pipe. It's got nothing to do with this. Tins are a great one. Any bean tins, make sure you keep, sew them in. They look awesome, depending on what your styles are. But I love uh, a bean tin. And if you put them outside, they get a nice little rust on them, which I really love the, like, the look of. Um, so tins I'm a big fan of. You can get the big ones as well. They're really great. Uh, there you go. Look, you can create these awesome little uh, markers. Um, you can get the stamps for them. You can hammer the hammer the letters in. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, these bottles, again, using cola bottles for wall planters, they don't look amazing. You can make them look good, don't get me wrong, but uh, they're not a bad way of uh, starting your seeds off, starting some plants off, depending on what plants you grow. The pictures always make it look better than in actual real life. Uh, more tyres. That is a glass version you see the plastic version there where the plants are growing, of that self-waterer that I talked about earlier. Um, again, sucking that water up. If you're going away on holiday, I mean, I did say that earlier, but ain't no one going nowhere at the moment, are they? But a really great one um, for that. 
Uh, more wellies. More tins. That's not. That's quite a nice idea, actually. That's foam tins. A wheel. It must be extreme. Candles in glasses. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let's see what else. Bottles. Mm, yeah, this is taking recycling to another level. Hey, look. Lisa talked about this the other day. Oh, if Lisa's watching this back, look. This is what we talked about. I can't believe it. Actual creating a bed of plants. Hello. Hello, it's Richard Suggett. Hey, Suggs, how you doing? Yeah, good. Yourself? I'm good, man. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, indeed. I'm. I wanted to call out. I called up about all these Pinterest things that you're going through at the moment. Yeah, they never look like this, right? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I mean, they look stunning and. Absolutely. If you if you want to give it a try, I'm not going to put anybody off from trying to give it a try. But I've tried doing some of these with high expectations, and then it turns out absolutely rubbish. I'm sure if you practice and you do it a lot, you take your time, yeah. you will get the result that you see on the screen. But in my experience, I've always struggled. It never quite works. I mean, I like the. Uh, I really like. Like we just looked a second ago at the. Like the cola bottle planters that are put on their side, and they do, yes. they look good in the photo. But the only problem is, like anything, like even gutter and like I, you, they'll probably come up in a second gutter and to plant up in. But there's yeah. just not enough soil in it. I mean, there is enough to grow, but because of our summers now, they dry yeah. out so quickly. So you can imagine them bottles drying out really fast. You're going to be constantly watering. Yeah. yeah, you probably got to water them two or three times a day in the height of summer. For them to retain the moisture. Yeah, it's but that, that, not possible. Well, unless you set up some sort of automatic watering system. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But that's probably going to cost you more than what if you actually build a proper system. And then <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just buy something. Yeah, yeah. But I like, I, I've probably got about a 30 second delay. I've just seen like a, a toy dump truck filled with plants. I like that. Um, I missed that as I was just scrolling. Yeah, I think toys. I think I talked about this very briefly on um, Monday's show. That I like yeah. taking from things that we're going to get. There we go. That we were going to get rid of inside and put them outside. I mean, that is exactly. I mean, if you've got kids on and toys and bits, it's yeah. a nice thing. A nice thing to do, isn't it? I like to do it with. Um, uh, what else? Well, I've bought. I've not really planted anything from inside. I've put a lot of bits that are supposed to be inside and screwed it outside to the wall. As decoration, yeah, because usually they yeah. have a nice rust on them. I don't know, it depends again, it depends on your style of what you like. Yeah, I think it also depends on how good you are at being a bit artistic. Yeah, because yeah. Pinterest, or the people on Pinterest, they make it sound so so easy. Um, but I've yet to find one that is as easy as they've made it out to be. Yeah, biggest thing, I think the biggest thing, especially like planting wise on Pinterest. It's just to think about the soil, the amount of soil you've got in the, for that plant and, yeah. and and just how quick it's going to dry out because, uh, because that is just the way it is now, isn't it? So um, Absolutely. it might look great for the, the Insta photo, mate, but it ain't going to look so good for the... Um, for, uh, a year later. For, well, for just you. <laughs> great for Instagram yeah. at that point, you plant it, but not for, uh, for actual use. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. There you go, yeah. But that's not to say don't give it a try at all. Give anything in there a try and see how it works out for yourself. Oh, you've got to go for it. You've got to have a go. Definitely, a hundred percent, man. Um, um, and just be, just yeah, just try. I suppose. I mean, you're not losing anything. It's all recycled stuff in it, so you might as well give it a go. Yeah, absolutely. And if it doesn't work, then or if it does work, then send a picture to me and uh, tell me you've done it. There, there we go. Send the pictures to Rich. Me. There you go. Take the picture of Rich. Are you going to make one of them igloos? I just seen you wrote igloo on the group. I liked. I did like that bean growing thing with um, bicycle wheels. I'm not sure how it stayed that's together. What, that's what I can work out. It might be welded together. Is the only thing I can think of. It's got to be. I did see some ties in it, and I thought, well, maybe you could create it with just bike by, by um by tie tie wrapping it. But. I it's quite a difficult balance, isn't it? I would have thought the tie wraps would be too flexible that they would end up flopping down and get strong wind or something. 
Yeah. So, I mean, just like something like that, you look at it and think, oh, I'd love to do that. But then you need to know how to weld or get a welder in and then it gets a little bit complicated. Yeah. And also, I don't know where you're going to get that many bicycle wheels from. That's what I was going to say. There's a lot of bicycle wheels. But if you have an old bicycle bike shop near you that has those that they're throwing out or something, you might be able to do something. Or if you see, you know, you go around town sometimes and see bikes that have had the front wheel nicked off them. It just means that someone is creating that somewhere at home. Yeah, that's quite possible too. That's a definite. There's no no possibility about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh dude thanks for calling in no worries have a good one yeah, thanks man and i'll chat to you later take care bye, dude. See you later. bye. um so yeah there we go mr richard suggett and that's the sort of thing we do on this show uh in the evenings we chat about stuff we have a little look on the web and see what's about tonight we watch a gardening program together um, and we get people to call in and, uh, and just have a good old chat. It's good to bring everyone together and chat about our passion. And my passion is gardening. I know a lot of people that tune in, uh, their passion is gardening too. Some people just like to watch, to um, have a laugh. We try and do that as well. Um, so, yeah, we're not about every afternoon. Uh, it's the first one we've done. It. And, uh, but we are about every eight till nine Monday to friday um right so that's it everyone thanks so much to everyone that's watched thanks so much to everyone that shared uh the show today uh, i really appreciate it we are actually back tonight 8 p.m we're going down under to australia so if you want to want to join us then join me at 8 p.m tonight and i'll be going to see costa in his garden so uh happy recycling i hope we've turned some junk into gold and uh, i'll see you i'll see you tonight Good night. Good goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. Facilia. Facilia. Or Pacilio. You just read it off the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm on. Oh, I can't hear you on. <laughs> I've done something wrong with the thing. Anyway, Alison Poo is what I got. Good evening, Lee. How are you? Great, mate. Your 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 signal is always terrible, but I'm good, my friend. <laughs> Uh, excuse me excuse me you got an allotment when I go don't put artificial compost on top of me alright you're going to get composted Lee yeah, well, I, 